Have you ever wondered what on earth Europeans ate before corn, beans, squash, potatoes, tomatoes, peppers? All those things came from the Americas to Europe. Imagine Italian food without tomatoes. Imagine the Irish without potatoes. Thank goodness, highly advanced American plant breeders were able to turn things like teosinte into corn. But you gotta wonder, what did Italians eat if it wasn't a pizza with tomato sauce? The answer is skirt. They ate skirt. Well, I mean, obviously not just skirt. But I grow most of the pre-Columbian European food plants in my garden, and skirt is absolutely one of my favorites. So skirt is important because it is just, it's perennial for one. So you plant it once and it comes back year after year after year. But, but more importantly, as a culinary thing, it is a major calorie crop and it kind of can replace potatoes. It kind of looks like this when you dig them up and dig up the roots. So uh, I've served these up for people in my programs like French fries, you can kind of bake them. And uh, they're really good that way. Everybody always loves them and immediately wants to grow this plant. Uh, it's also uh, really rich in nutrients, too. It's kind of like a clumping perennial parsnip or carrot. I'm going to dig up one in a second so you can see a little bit like uh, what the, the roots look like. Uh, but you got to watch out because according to medieval herbalist Gerard, um, the, uh, <laughs> the skirt is meanly nourishing, but they are something windy by reason thereof. They also provoke the lust. He goes on to say that lusty German wives would, quote, prepare the roots hereof for their husbands and know full well wherefore and why. These poor German husbands being taken advantage of by their wives. Now, I'm not sure that too many people these days conflate flatulence with lust, but hey, these days there's a website for that if you do, and you might also want to look and discourage. it. So here's a young first year plant that I just dug up because I'm going to use this to propagate new plants. So you can see this is kind of what the uh, little uh, potato uh, carrot things are like a cross between potatoes and carrots or real mild carrots. They're nice and sweet. They're tender crisp. They're an excellent vegetable. Also, these, uh, when they're young, before they grow out this much, are nice and crispy and kind of like celery, carrot flavored celery, and you can break these off and they're an excellent vegetable on their own as well. Each of these can be separated to make a new plant. So it's easy to propagate as well. It's really highly productive and produces a ton of calories with little work. There is skirt, a highly productive calorie crop, a great insect and pollinator tracker, and you can even use these greens in a Bloody Mary. 